stand all over the building. Hallelujah. As we invoke the presence of the Lord in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a wonder in our soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says, oh, sweet wonder. Hallelujah. It says, oh, sweet wonder. Hallelujah. Jesus, the son of God. Hallelujah. Oh, how I adore him. Yes, Lord. Oh, how I love him. Yes, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah. The son, hallelujah, of God. Oh, yes, Lord. Sweet wonder. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. Sweet wonder. Hallelujah. Jesus, the son of God. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I adore him, Jesus, yes, Lord, the Son of, of God. Oh, yes, Lord, sweet wonder, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus, sweet wonder, Jesus, yes, he is. He's the Son of God. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, how I love him. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, how I, how I adore him. Yes, Lord. His name is Jesus. He's the Son. Hallelujah. Of, of God. And the church will say, and the church say yes. I know it's early, but we still got a yes in our soul. Yes. Come on, Zion. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Come on, Zion. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and tell them yes. Yes, Lord. Our soul cry out. Our heart cry out. Yes, Lord. Come on, Zion. Open your mouth and tell them yes. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Kind Father, we thank you. Come on, Zion. Open up your mouth and tell them yes. Open up your mouth and tell them yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and tell them yes. I know we're at the beginning of the service, but open up your mouth and tell God yes. He's a wonder in my soul. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We glorify you this morning. We magnify you this morning. You are worthy to be praised. Thou art God, and you're worthy to be exalted. Thou art the Christ, hallelujah, and you're worthy to be lifted. And so, Father, this morning, we come with no other reason. We come for no other reason. We come with no other choice but praise you. We tell you, thank you this morning, Father. We tell you, thank you for being God. We tell you, thank you for being the captain of our soul. We tell you, thank you for being our redeemer. We tell you, thank you for being Savior. We tell you, thank you this morning, Father. And we come to tell you thank you. We come not with an, with an agenda. We come not with an assignment but to praise you. And so, Father, this morning, we come to tell you thank you. We come to praise your name, Father. We come to lift your name, Father. You are worthy to be praised. From the rising to, of the sun to the going down of the sand. Your name is worthy, Father. back to the house of worship to give you glory and to give you praise and so father we come father as a collective body to lift your name on high you said in your word father that if I be lifted up from the earth I'll draw men unto me and 
so father we lift you 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 we lift you this morning and let you do the drawing father we lift your name we lift your name on high we lift your name on high we say have your way in the room this morning have your way in the virtual service this morning move oh god from heart to heart move oh god from mind to mind have thine own way in the service that day we relinquish our hope we relinquish our stand and we yield it over into your capable hands and we say have your way holy father have your way in the room this morning we release our hand we release our hold we give it to you take control father move how you want to move do what you want to do we your people father we are open and we're ready we're ready and we're open to see that which you're going to do this morning have thine own way, Father. Have thine own way, Father. And out of our bellies, we'll tell you thank you. Out of our bellies, we'll lift your name. Out of our bellies, we'll cry unto you. And we will say, have thine own way, Father. Have your way from the pulpit to the door. Have your way, Father, in the minstrel this morning. Have your way, Father, in the praise and worship. Have your way, Father, in the musicians this morning. Have your way, Father, in us, your people, this morning. We come, oh God, yet to see miracle signs and wonders this morning. We come to the house this morning, yet that some might be saved, that some might be delivered, and that some might be filled with the Holy Ghost. We relinquish it into your capable hand. Have your way, Father. Move however you want to move. We relinquish it. We relinquish it. Let cancer be dried up this morning. Let diabetes be dry up this morning. Have your way, Father. Any matter of sickness. We say, do it, Father. We leave it at the altar. And we say, have your way in the name of Jesus. And we thank you this morning. And we glorify you. And we magnify you. Now, Father, touch the man servant that's going to bring forth the word this morning. Dig them deep down in your treasures. Let them come up, Father, with the word from on high. A word, oh God, that will put us back into spiritual transit. A word, oh God, that will loose the shackle off of your people, oh God. A word, oh God, that will change the very mind of your people, oh God. Do it for them, oh God. And Satan, we serve notice to you this morning. You have no dominion. You have no control in the room. You be defeated. Jesus, you be exalted. Satan, you be defeated. Jesus, you be exalted. In the name of Jesus. And we say thank you. And we say thank you. We lift our hands. We lift our voice. We cry out loud in the sanctuary. And we say thank you. We say thank you. Tell God thank you. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Now come on, all over the building. Come on, open up your mouth and just begin to bless the name of Jesus. Come on, release your thank you. Release your praise and your adoration unto your Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. Open your mouth and say thank you. Anybody got a thank you in your heart? 
I thank you in your soul. I thank you in your spirit. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you for all the ways you made, for every door you've opened. Come on, we just came to say thank you this morning. We came to give them glory as we came to give them praise. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I said, let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Let us lift him up. Let us magnify him. Let us glorify him. So we say thank you. So we say thank you. So we say thank you. 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 We just came to say thank you. To open up your mouth and say thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Open up your mouth and say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Wave your hands and say thank you. Wave your hands and say thank you. If you're at home, just tell them thank you. In the sanctuary, we say thank you. For being so good to us. For your mercy and your love. For your protection and your kindness. We say thank you. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you.
sing the praises.
for ever and ever. He reigns for ever and ever. One more time. Everybody is saying, He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. And evermore. He reigns. No one can beat him. No one can dethrone him. You know that he reigns forever and ever. No one can beat him. No one can destroy him. He's a mighty God. He forever sits on the throne. And we give him praise. And we give him glory. He's such a mighty God. Anybody know we serve a mighty God this morning? I want you to lift your hands and just tell God you're such a mighty God. You're such an awesome God. Yeah, you're such a worthy God of all of our praise, of all of our worship, of all the glory and honor. You're mighty. You're holy. You're omnipotent. You're excellent in all your ways. Come on, lift it up and give him praise. We glorify your name, oh God. Come on, before we sing it, I want him to hear you. We bless your name, oh God. We give you our praise this morning. You're mighty, you're worthy. You're faithful, you're omnipotent. You're just, you're true. That's who you are this morning. You're Jesus. Hey, Lily of the Valley, bright and morning star. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Come on, you're worthy, you're worthy. Lift it up. Come on, you're worthy, you're worthy of all of our worship, our praise. It belongs to you, oh God. It belongs to you, oh God. Everybody sing, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Lord, you mighty. Lord, In all of your ways. Yes, you mighty. Lord, you mighty. Yes, Lord, you mighty. Lord, you mighty. Lord, you mighty. Lord, you mighty. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Yes, Lord. You set your glory above the heavens and the earth. Yes, Lord. When I think of all you made, the sun, the moon, and the stars, there's no praise is high enough to express how great you are. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, angels, they bow before the mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Can we sing it with us? What a mighty God we serve. See heaven, heaven and earth the door, the mighty God that you are. Let's build it right here. Stay right there. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, tell him you're such a mighty God. Yes, heaven and earth the door, the mighty God that you are. Say everyone. Hey! 
Hallelujah. And we thank you. Hallelujah. I done sung twice for y'all today. You ain't get that now. <laughs> but we thank and praise God because we know that all glory and honor truly belongs to him because if it was not for our God and our Savior, we would not be able to give him glory. We would not be able to give him honor. Hallelujah. But he saw fit to allow us to be in this place, in this moment, and in this time to give him glory. Hallelujah. We don't come to be pumped. We don't come to be primed. Hallelujah. We ought to just come to praise him. Hallelujah. He kept us day after day. Hallelujah. Year after year. Moment after moment. Hallelujah. Because you can be here one moment and gone the next. Hallelujah. But he kept you moment by moment. Hallelujah. And so you ought to praise him moment by moment. Hallelujah. You ought to learn to give him glory moment by moment. Hallelujah. It's a moment by moment thing now. Hallelujah. We hear so much of people drifting away and slipping away. But I've learned one thing that I'm going to praise him moment by moment because I don't want to be caught with my work undone. Hallelujah. And I know that I'm a praiser. I'm a worshiper. Hallelujah. And so that's what I want to be found doing. Hallelujah. It's not always in the dance. Hallelujah. Not always in the dance. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's just simply in the thank you. Hallelujah. Just simply telling him thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands in the sanctuary and let's just tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We ought to just tell him thank you. Out of the city of our souls, we ought to cry thank you. Hallelujah. Out of the depth of our heart, we ought to open up our mouth and cry out thank you. Hallelujah. Do I have any grateful people in the room? That'll just open up your mouth and say thank you. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth and tell them thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for being so good to me. Thank you for keeping my mind. Hey, thank you for keeping my body. Thank you for keeping my mother and my father. Thank you for keeping our bishop for 41 years. You ought to tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping this church for 27 years. You ought to tell him thank you. You ought to cry loud and spare not and say thank you. Oh, oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. And so that's all I come to tell him this morning is thank you. I simply come to tell him thank you. He didn't have to do it. And technically we weren't worthy of him doing it. But yet he did it anyhow. And so I tell my God thank you. I tell him thank you. Sometimes when you have no other words to say, you just simply say thank you. When you can't articulate what you really want to say, you just open up your mouth and you say thank you. Hallelujah. Because he's God. God all by himself. So sometimes you can't articulate because what he did was so much and so large, so big. Hallelujah. And so sometimes you just say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. And we thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for this moment and this opportunity. Hallelujah. There's so much to thank him for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Accidents, sickness. Hallelujah. Cancer didn't kill you. The brain as aneurysm didn't kill you. Hallelujah. Lupus didn't kill you. Heart trouble didn't kill you. Hallelujah. When you thought you were going crazy in your mind and you wanted to kill yourself, suicide didn't kill you. The attempt of suicide didn't kill you. And so we ought to be a grateful people. 
because there's testimonies ringing throughout the building of thanking him of when it could have been and it should have been another way. But God, it should have been another way. And it really could have been another way. But God spared our lives that we would make it back to this moment on this day, the 28th of November at the 1052 hour to give him glory. Hallelujah. We could have been in a crazy house. We could have been in the hospital. We could have been in a grave. But yet we are here with the activity and the youth of our living. And so we ought to pray. Hallelujah. If you don't move your feet, you can at least clap your hands. Hallelujah. 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 It is offering time in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. But before it's offering time, we want to thank God. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for our leader. Hallelujah. And our bishop. Hallelujah. The bishop of this house who's celebrating his 41st birthday today. Let's honor and praise God for our leader, the Honorable Bishop David L. Baxter Jr. Hallelujah. And we say happy birthday, Bishop, and that we love you. We give honor to our first lady, Lady Kenyatta Baxter. Hallelujah. We give honor to our youth pastor, Pastor James King. We give honor to Pastor Sherlyn Simmons and to Pastor Antoine Lawrence in his absence. We give honor to our mothers who are in the room. We thank God for them. To our deacons who are here, we thank God for you. We thank God for you, you the precious people of God. Hallelujah. But most of all, hallelujah, the reason that we're here, we give praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. You ought to open your mouth and say something to him. Hallelujah. Jesus is his name. Oh, Jesus is his name. Hey, hey. Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God. But not only are we celebrating our bishop's 41st birthday, but we're celebrating 27 years of this church being established. The 27th church anniversary of the Greater True Light Ministry. Sound of Praise, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 485. Robert Grissom Parkway. Hallelujah. It is an honor. It is an honor to be a part of this great church. I have not been here all 27 years, but I've been here going on with Bishop 12. And so I can celebrate. I can celebrate a little bit because we made it. Hallelujah. We made it. It could have been and it probably should have been another week, but we made it. And we thank God for allowing us to make it to year 27. Hallelujah. It was only by the grace of God that we made it to year 27. Amen. Amen. Some have been here 27 years. Some have been here the entire time. And we thank God for those who have carried it until we got here. Hallelujah. They carried the weight until many of us got here to help them with the weight. And so we thank God for them, hallelujah, that they carried it until we got here. It is offering time. We are asking that everyone standing all across the building for the offering time. If it is your tithing season, your tithing Sunday, it should be it's tithing season all the time. Amen. But if it's your tithing Sunday, we ask that you bring your tithes. You can give your tithes several ways. You can give it in the basket that our deacons are holding. You can give it 
on Cash App, dollar sign GTLM485, or you can give it by Givelify, which is Greater True Light Ministries. Um, and for our offering, being that it is the 27th church anniversary, our bishop is asking that everyone, how many? Everyone, everybody, to give a special $27 offering to go towards our church anniversary. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this hour, Father God. We thank you for this time of giving, Father God. Father, we ask that you bless it, Father God. Bless those that have to give and those that don't have to give, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, allow this to be for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we pray and thank you. Amen. We ask that you follow the directions of the usher. If you're on this side, we ask that you face the window. If you're on this side, we ask that you face the window and follow the leading of our ushers. Amen. If you want to give by credit card, we do have that accessibility with our CFO, Elder Stephanie McCray. Amen. me to sing, but we won't sing late in the midnight hour tonight. Amen. Amen. We are, we've come to the most important part of our service. Giving is good. Shouting is good. But the most important part of our service is the word of God. The word of God. The Bible said that the flowers may fade and the grass may wither, but the word of our God will stand forever and we thank God that the word is still standing hallelujah he said before my word fail heaven and earth will pass away but we thank God that heaven and earth is still yet here so that means that his word is still standing and that his word is still good we have a well capable vessel who's going to bring forth the bread of life this morning it is in the person of our leader and our bishop none other than the Bishop David L. Baxter Jr. I ask that you stand all over the building as he mounts the roster in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord everybody. Amen. Would you give God a hand praise? For this fourth Sunday in the month of November. Amen. We've got one month left in 2021. Come on, somebody, give the Lord a praise. Glory to God. Well, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. 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 heaven belongs to you. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. Clap your hands. If you live right, heaven belongs to you.
If you sing right heaven, let the church. If you sing right heaven, if you sing right heaven, we got to do this right. If you pray right heaven, if you pray right heaven, oh heaven belongs to you. Oh heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven, heaven belongs to you. I want to go to heaven. Heaven belongs to you. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs. Well, let the church clap. the sanctified church here. Come on. Let me hear it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Belongs to you. 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 Bel
belongs to you. Belongs to you. Heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, if you pray right, if you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you live right, if you live right, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. Heaven belongs to you. talking about Barbados and uh, 
Antigua Bay. Somebody want to go to heaven. Oh, Lord, I want to go to heaven. I'm living right. I'm loving right. I'm walking right because one day, I said one day, I want to go to heaven. All right. to be working up a spiritual church. Amen. Preparing a people for a prepared place. Amen. I said we ought to be working up a spiritual church. Amen. Preparing a people for a prepared place. There is a place hallelujah called heaven. Amen. And I want to go there. Amen. When God gets ready. Come on and shout hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I bless him today for being in the house of the Lord. I'm grateful today for my wife, Lady Baxter. Thank God for my children. And tell somebody, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It ought to be something to celebrate. Amen. Knowing after we've done all we can to stand on this side, to hear him say, well done. Thy good and faithful son. Come on out. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many things. Amen. And so we're grateful, amen, for all of our house pastors and our youth pastor and all of the saints, our deacons, our ushers, everybody. Clap your hands for your name and say, so glad to see you in the house. Now, would you help me celebrate Jesus and say, I'm so glad you're here. My God, so glad he's here. Amen. 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 I'm saved today. Amen. I'm on the Lord's side. Amen. Glory to God. It's not just words. Some people say by words. Amen. Glory to God. But I'm saved through lifestyle. Amen. I believe, hallelujah, that worship is a lifestyle. And when you worship God, you don't do that on Sunday morning. You do that Monday through, through Sunday. Amen. When you're a worshiper, you worship a 365 days, seven days a week. Amen. You've got relationship with God. Amen. And I thank him today because I love him. Amen. He's my Savior. He's my Lord and he's my King. Amen. He is, amen, my everything. And I thank him today, amen, for each and every one. Thank God for this great praise and worship team this morning and this musicians, these musicians and everybody in the house of the Lord. I thank him for letting me see another birthday. Amen. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Amen. I praise him. Amen. Not too often does it fall on a Sunday. Amen. But I'm so glad today that I'm standing here. Amen. To preach his gospel on my birthday. Amen. God is good. And then I thank him for the 27th church anniversary of the Greater True Light Ministries. We celebrate together in 2021. Amen. And so we're grateful. Amen. And thank God for those of you that are in the sanctuary and those that are viewing virtually. Amen. Come on in. Amen. And let's hear the word of the Lord today. Amen. As I was praying and asking the Lord what to say. Amen. Today I want to look. Amen. Today at Psalms 27. Amen. Psalms 27. Amen. And while you're getting it, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time to hear your word. Thank you for these, your people. 
that have come from everywhere to hear what the Spirit has to say on this day. We thank you for being so good and so merciful and so kind. Father, we praise you because there is yet another word, hallelujah, that you're yet speaking into our ears and to our hearts. Lord, we pray today for a life-changing word that you would shift this in the spirit, shake us down in our soul, have your way among us today. Father, we thank you now for strength to preach, minister to the hearts and minds of your people, and God, we'll give you glory, we'll give you honor, we'll give you praise. Father, I pray that you would save, Lord, that you would heal, set free, and deliver Move by your power and by your spirit. When it's all said and done, we'll say that you did it. And you alone in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Psalms 27 or the 27th Psalm. Are you there? Amen. Glory to God. Are y'all there? Amen. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a good Thanksgiving? Amen. Because some of y'all, the turkey is still sitting low in there. You got to release that turkey. Amen. So you can give God some praise or whatever you had. Amen. I hope you didn't eat too much ham, your pressure up or whatever. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. Glory to God. I like a talk back church, right? Amen. We came to give God praise. Amen. So let's, amen, release that in the house today. Psalms 27, beginning at verse 1, said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing. Have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide me, hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Lead me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, my God, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a path or in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, Lord have mercy, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The 14th verse, amen, says, wait on the Lord. I wish I had a church. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall do what? Strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait, I say on the Lord. Before you take your seat, I want you to give three people my subject today. Just tell them these words. He's been there. All right. All right. <laughs> well, find you somebody that's been through a little something, something, and tell them, I don't know about you, but tell them in my life, he's been there. Amen. Glory to God. I'll say like Pastor Amen Parker said, and I'm overwhelmed by your response. Lord have mercy. Find you somebody else and slap that neighbor high five and tell him he's been there. Ah, 
God Almighty. Pastor Simmons, history by definition is the whole series of past events connected with someone or something. It explains how we have maneuvered through time and made it where we currently are in life. History allows you the opportunity to take some type of evaluation of an individual before you end up in a situation with an individual. It is wisdom that, that before you allow your heart to get attached, that you make sure you checked out the history. Sisters and brothers, history doesn't mean a person cannot change. Because anybody can change. It just means that you need to take your time to make sure that the change has really taken place. There is, uh, this is with anything, you need to check the history. Somebody say check the history. I know some of us don't like credit checks. But one of the purposes of uh, that credit check and one of the purposes of background checks is to see your history. Can we trust you to do what's right with our stuff? It is wise that before you purchase a car that you do your homework on that car. This is referred to as checking the history. Somebody say check the history. When you go to the doctor, they will usually check your history to see what you've been in the office prior to for. They will check your history to find out what's in your blood. They'll find out what you've been coming to the office for prior to this particular appointment. Amen. Glory to God. They want to find out this. Amen. Glory to God to see if what you're going through and what you're continuously coming in the office for is an ongoing situation. And so it is important that we understand that history is important. History gives you something to look forward to in the future. Knowing, glory to God, that I've come from somewhere. And where I've come from, I'm not there anymore. I've moved, I've maneuvered, I've matriculated, amen, to where I am now. And because I am where I am now, I understand that this is not the end, but this is yet another stop, amen, to pursuing in to something greater. Come on and shout hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, can I also bring to your understanding that history brings security. Mm -hmm. history brings security amen I want to say to you today amen I trust my wife when driving more than I trust my 20 year old daughter with driving not because she cannot drive but because we've got more history Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Glory to God, the old hymn of the church. Amen, Pastor King, that came to mind was entitled the old ship of Zion. Amen, and in the old ship of Zion, amen, the songwriter, amen, goes through different reasons why, amen, he can trust riding this particular ship. And he talks about its history. Amen, he says, for it has landed many of thousands. He said, amen, glory to God. He says, uh, when I ride this ship, I found out that there is no danger in the water. He says, when I ride this ship, amen, one of the most pointed parts of the song, amen, that I love the most. Uh, amen, he says this, amen, glory to God. He says, glory to God, that King Jesus is the captain of the ship. And so this brings about the history of the ship of Zion and why it is safe to ride this ship. Come on and shout security. Amen. Glory to God. History gives us security and history gives us safety. 
Come on and shout hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God is this. Uh, amen. Songwriter begins. Uh, amen. To pin this writing. Amen. This becomes the most important part. Amen. Or the part that I love about it the most. When he begins to make everything all right by letting us know uh, that even though it has landed many of thousands and even though it has no danger in its water. Uh, the part that secures uh, and make the ship most uh, safe uh, is the fact that King Jesus is the captain. Amen. Tell somebody you need some good history uh, in order to be trustworthy. Uh, amen. Come on. I said you need some good history uh, in order to be trustworthy. Everybody don't have good history. Uh, Lord have mercy. And so you got to be very careful. Amen. When you're dealing uh, amen with people because uh, amen everybody don't have uh, good history. History becomes your track record. It, it becomes your track record. And uh, we can recover other in history but you got to make sure that there's a change that takes place that brings you into a place of recovery at some point in time in your life the story of your life needs a shift glory to God I wish I had somebody here that would tell your neighbor say neighbor at some point in time in your life the story of your life needs a shift anybody here remember when your life took a shift anybody here remember when your life took a turn anybody here remember when amen God amen changed you and made you somebody better than you were before now amen we're sitting up in this church but I want to tell you there was a time when you didn't want to come to church there was a time when you didn't think about God wanted God wanted anything to do with God but there was a part in your story where your life took a turn amen I'm so glad uh, that the Lord shifted my life uh, amen come on tell somebody history tells a story yes history tells a story and I'm so glad this morning that I have a story to tell uh, nobody has to tell uh, my story for me I can tell uh, my own story I am a living testimony uh, amen that God is able to shift uh, your life uh, look how far you've come look at what you've survived uh, look at what you've overcome hallelujah uh, look at how how God allowed you uh, amen to make it through some of your most struggling uh, and difficult times in your life uh, look how much God has allowed you to accomplish uh, look how much God has allowed you uh, amen to come through uh, no matter what your age uh, may be this morning some have been through more than others uh, amen but you ought to tell somebody I've got a history uh, my God look how far you've come look at what you survived look at what you've overcome uh, look at what you've struggled through look at the ups and the downs uh, look at your moments of weakness and your moments of strength uh, and tell God thank you for my history uh, amen some people glory to God don't like to uh, look back and see yeah but glory to God but what I found now yeah, what helps me to do better in my today yeah, is remembering what he brought me through in yesterday yeah. come on and shout hallelujah yeah. if it had not been for the Lord yeah, amen who was on my side yeah, I never would have made it as far as I have yeah. brothers and sisters history doesn't just tell a story yeah, but it gives a testimony Amen. It gives a testimony because uh, after that has happened throughout or after uh, whatever has happened throughout your life uh, amen throughout this ministry throughout your families uh, we can declare and decree that we are still here. Uh, is there anybody can say I'm still here. Uh, after all I've been through. After all that has happened to me. After all that has happened around me. I can stand today and say uh, I'm still here uh, and not just here for the sake of existing uh, not 
just here for the sake of taking up space, uh, but I'm here making an impact. Uh, is there anybody here know you're making an impact? Uh, amen. You're blessing somebody's life. You're doing something good. You're, amen, causing change on your job. You're causing change in your community. There's something happening, uh, amen, that is causing your existence to be worthwhile. Uh, come on and shout hallelujah. I don't know who, you, amen, you attribute your presence in 2021 to, uh, but I attribute mine and this ministry uh, to the presence of God. Uh, come on and shout hallelujah. Uh, amen. If it had not been for the Lord, uh, amen, who was on uh, my side, uh, even when I wasn't on his side, uh, only he knows where I would be. Uh, come on and shout hallelujah. Amen. If it had not been for his purpose, uh, if it had not been for his plan, uh, being stronger and greater uh, than Satan's schemes and plots, uh, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, anybody here know it was the grace and mercy of God uh, that saved your life many times. Uh, amen. Thank God for his purpose uh, and thank God for his plan. Uh, that even when the enemy came in uh, with schemes and plots, uh, hallelujah, what he came to do, uh, amen, did not happen uh, because God's plan uh, and God's purpose uh, was greater than his scheme and his plots. Uh, and for this we tell him thank you uh, I love what Jeremiah says uh, in his first chapter verses 9 through 12 uh, Jeremiah says these words then the Lord uh, reached out and touched my mouth uh, and said look uh, I have put my words in your mouth Lord, uh, he says, today I appoint you uh, to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Uh, some glory to God you must uproot uh, and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Uh, others you must build up and plant. Uh, he says in verse 11, then the Lord said to me, uh, look Jeremiah, uh, what do you see? Uh, and I replied, I see a branch uh, from an almond tree and the Lord said that's right it means that I'm watching and I'm going to God and I will certainly carry out my plans concerning you in other words what God was saying to the prophet Jeremiah even in his young age I'll be right there by your side hallelujah I've got a plan for your life I've got a purpose for your life I've got work that I need you to do uh, but Jeremiah what you're about to do uh, you're not going to do it by yourself uh, I'll be right there uh, is there anybody here know God will be right there He'll be right there. And so, brothers and sisters, would you do me a favor and tell somebody he's been there? My, he's been there. He's been there. Well, the name, the name, the name, the name Jehovah. The name Jehovah is translated as the existing one. Amen. Or it is uh, translated as Lord. Uh, the chief meaning of Jehovah is derived from the Hebrew word Hava. Uh, a meaning to be or to exist. Uh, it is also suggests uh, to become or specifically to become known. Uh, uh, this denotes a God who reveals himself unceasingly. He's always revealing himself. He's always opening up himself to us in brand new ways. I don't care how long you've been serving God and how long you've been saved. Glory to God. The truth of the matter is you don't know all there is to know about God. There is still more to him than you know and after all these years there's still more to him not that you know not of. Come on and shout out. He's a big God. I said he's a big God. There is more to him than you even know of right now. 
Some of us have not even touched the surface uh, of what it is to know who God is. Uh, and then glory to God, the word Shama. Uh, amen. Glory to God, hallelujah, is derived from the word Sham, uh, which came or can be translated as there. Uh, and so when we put the two words together, uh, we get Jehovah Shama, uh, which means the Lord is there. Uh, I wish I had a praying church here. Jehovah Shammah is a symbolic name of the earthly Jerusalem. The name indicates that God has not abandoned Jerusalem, leaving it in ruins, but that there will be a restoration. I wish I had somebody here that would just lean on somebody and say, neighbor, I just want to tell you, God has not not abandon you uh, there will be uh, restoration uh, I wish I had a praying church here uh, I won't be long but I want to tell you uh, I don't care what it is you're going through uh, and what it is you've been dealing with uh, somebody right in this room may have felt abandoned uh, and felt forsaken and let down uh, but I stopped by to tell you uh, the Lord has not abandoned you uh, there will be restoration somebody lift your hands and shout there will be restoration yes this is this is the new name that Jerusalem will be called when Yeshua the son of David returns to reign in Jerusalem and God's presence permanently resides there in other words Jerusalem will be so changed by God's dwelling that in Jerusalem she will receive the name linking her to God him and so Jerusalem's name huh, will be changed to Shama. Huh? Lord, I wish I had somebody. Huh? Come on and tell God, thank you here. Huh? This comforting name of God speaks of his faithfulness. Huh? It speaks of his trustworthiness. Huh? It speaks of his dependability. Huh? It speaks of the fact that huh, because he is my God, huh, I can trust huh, in his word. Huh? Come on and shout hallelujah. Huh? We would say it like this, if God said it, huh, I believe it huh, and that settles it. Huh? Come on and shout hallelujah. We can, we can receive assurance from this name that God has not and will not abandon Jerusalem. But not only Jerusalem, but us as well. He will not abandon you and he will not abandon me. God is there for us in a real and personal way. Come on and shout hallelujah. The Bible declares in Deuteronomy 31 and 8, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. First Chronicles 28 and 20 said, then David said to Solomon his son, be strong and courageous and do it. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. He said, uh, baptizing them in the name of the Father uh, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, uh, teaching them to observe all that uh, I have commanded you. Uh, and behold, glory to God, uh, I am with you always, uh, even until the end of the age. Uh, I want to leave you with Genesis 28 and 15 uh, that says, behold, I am with you. Uh, I will keep you wherever you go. Uh, and will bring you back to this land. But I, glory to God, will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Lord, have mercy here. 
Tell somebody for me, God's going to do what he promised you. Yeah, he's going to do what he has promised you. I came this morning to tell somebody the Lord is there. Come on, somebody shout, the Lord is there. I don't know how you feel about it this morning, but I came to tell you the Lord is there. I can recall growing up, Pastor Simmons in church, and when the spirit would get real high, go to God and Sister Reed is in the house she can testify when the spirit would get real high in the service our pastor would get up and say tell your neighbor the Lord is here Lord I wish I had somebody every now and then you need to let somebody know the Lord is here why don't you do a check down your road and touch somebody and say neighbor the Lord is here yeah meaning his presence was in the room yeah, meaning his presence was in the room. And I came to tell somebody here this morning that the reason why we've all come through the problems that we faced was because of his presence. Come on and shout hallelujah. Song says he was there all the time. Come on and shout hallelujah. David, uh, David through his psalms, uh, David throughout his psalms uh, talks about how the Lord has been there for him. Uh, throughout his psalms, pastor, uh, he talks about how the Lord has been there for him. Uh, he starts, amen, glory to God. Uh, we can start about the 91st psalm, uh, round about that first and the second verses, uh, where David said, he that dwelleth uh, in in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom will I trust. He then picks it up in Psalms 23 and said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Go down there to the 28th Psalm, round about that seventh verse. He said the Lord is my strength and my shield. Yes Lord. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give him thanks. Psalm 16 and 11 you make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. 28 and 7. The Lord is my strength. Lord and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. Come on and shout hallelujah. And then in our text this morning I heard David say the Lord is my light. Lord, uh, hallelujah. Uh, the Lord is my light uh, and my salvation. Uh, whom shall I fear? Uh, the Lord is the strength of my life. Uh, of whom shall I be afraid? Uh, David said, when the wicked, uh, even my enemies uh, and my foes uh, came upon me, uh, to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Well, brothers and sisters, as I begin to land this plane, I read the thing. I read this particular passage. And as I begin to read, I begin to wonder what's the difference between enemies and foes. Tell somebody there's a difference between enemies and foes. I know when we read it, we read it as if it's the same thing, but it's really not the same thing. The scripture said, when the wicked, comma, even my enemy, and which is in conjunction, my foes, 
which means they're two different people. Come on and say yes, Lord. And what I found out about it is that an enemy is a person who is outright against you. Come on and say yes, Lord. They're willing to war with you to dominate you. Come on and say yeah. They don't like you. And they don't put up a front like they do. Come on and say yes, Lord. They don't pretend about it. They want you to know. I'm your enemy. But then a foe is a person who appears to be close to you. They befriend you just to be in the place where they can destroy you and your character. We call them a friendly foe. Come on and say yes, Lord. How about frenemies? Come on and say yes, Lord. They got a hidden motive and a hidden agenda. But I heard Jesus, or I heard David say, when the wicked, even my enemy and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Come on and say yeah. Tell somebody, said neighbor, whatever your enemies and your foes are trying to do against you, it's not going to work. Because Isaiah said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against me shall be condemned in the judgment. Come on and say yeah. But David began to continue to write. And I won't get through it all. But he said, though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise up against me. In this, will I be confident. What David is doing is showing us that his confidence is in God because he's been there. Come on and say yeah. David was a warrior. He was a man of battle. He was a man of war. Out on the field, fighting battles and killing giants. But David realized that all of his strength and all of his ability, all of his victory, was because uh, of who was on his side. Uh, Lord, I wish I had somebody uh, that would shake your neighbor hand uh, and say, neighbor, the reason why uh, I've won this far uh, is because of the one uh, that lives in me. Uh, the greater is he uh, that's within me. Uh, than he that's within the world. Shout I heard, Lord, I heard David said, hallelujah, as he continues to write, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. In this verse, he lifts his desire. He lifts his heart for God to be there. Somebody lay hands on your heart and say, Lord, I just want you to be there. Live in me. Move in me. Breathe in me, make my body the 
temple uh, of your dwelling. Uh, Shadi, uh, verses five and six. Uh, David said, "But uh, in the time of trouble, uh, he shall hide me uh, in his pavilion uh, in the secret." Uh, of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me up upon a rock sisters and brothers verses 5 and 6 talks to us about the blessing because of him being there I'm blessed because he's there yes Lord verses 5 or uh, 7 through 10 uh, David prays a prayer uh, and says Lord uh, stay there uh, Lord uh, stay with me uh, Lord uh, don't leave me David said uh, when my mother uh, and my father uh, when they abandoned me uh, you were there uh, you took care of me uh, you fed me, you put clothes on my back, shoes on my feet, a roof over my head. Somebody need to look back over your life and tell God, you've been there. They lied on me, they talked about me, they criticized me, they stabbed me in my back but Lord you've been there you ought to shake somebody's hand and say neighbor after all I've been through I praise him because he's been there he's been there through the thick and the thin he's been there through my right and my wrong. He's been there when I fell. He's been there when I got back up. He's been there. Somebody ought to praise him because he's been right there. He's been right there by your side. Shout it. Shout it. I'm closing here, but David doesn't stop there. David goes on, yes, Lord, and tells God, teach me. Because you've been there for me, teach me how to be there for somebody else. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, if God has been there for you, you ought to be there for somebody else. Stop leaving folk in the dark. Stop leaving folk when they need you the most. You ought to pray. You ought to talk. You ought to love. You ought to be there to hold somebody up in the dark hours of their life Shady. you can't make this life all about you you ought to grab somebody's hand and say neighbor I'm here to see you through I know it gets rough I know it gets tough Tears well up in your eyes and you're looking around saying who can I turn to? Who can I reach out to for prayer? Who can I reach out to for love? But I heard David say, teach me thy way. Oh Lord, yes sir. And then he said in the 13th verse, I had fainted 
But as David said, I had fainted. I would have given up. I would have thrown in the towel. I would have quit. But Quintella, David said, unless I had believed, if it had not been for my faith in God, yes, Lord, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, Lord. And then finally, David said, after all of that, he gets down to the final verse and said, this is what brought me through. Wait. He said, wait. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen my heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Grab somebody and say, neighbor, just wait on him. I don't know what you're going through, but whatever it is, it's worth the wait. Wait on the Lord and be a good courage and he will strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait on him. I said, wait on him. David said, if you wait on him, he'll prove to you that he'll be there. I said, if you wait on him, he'll prove to you that he'll be there. Somebody in this room, after all your years of serving God, you can testify. He's been there. He's been there through the storm. He's been there through the rain. He's been there. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I've had my good days. I've had my days where I shed tears. But it's all right. Cause I realized when my back was up against the wall and I had nobody else to turn to, I could do what David said. I could look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help come from the Lord who's the maker of heaven and of earth. I'm finished this morning, but I wish I had somebody here that would just give your neighbor a brief testimony. Hallelujah. I tell them he's been there. Go ahead. He's been there. He's been there with my bills were due. I didn't know where the money was coming from. He'd been there when my friends walked away from me. He's been there. Yes, Lord. When I was trying to get stable in my finances, he was right there. Hallelujah. When I was moving from house to house, yes, Lord, he's been there. Yes, Lord, when my cars were breaking down, he's been there. Yes, Lord, when my mother, hallelujah, transitioned on the glory, he's been there. Yes, Lord, I wish I had somebody that would just help me shout through it all through it all through it all he's been there he's been there he's been there pastor simmons he's been there sister jackie he's been there elder brown he's been there 
somebody looking for a reason to give him praise. Praise him because he's been there. Praise him because he never left you. Praise him because he never forsook you. Praise him. Somebody here, somebody ought to testify and tell somebody, say, neighbor, throughout my life, he's been there. When I didn't know which way to go, which way to turn, he's been right there. He's been right there. Oh, right there. By my side. See? Been right there by my side. He's been right there by my side. He's been right there by my side. He's been right there. He's been right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greater true light, he's been there. Greater true light, he's been there. When we didn't know how we were gonna make ends meet, he's been there. I said he's been there through the thick and the thin. He's been there from day one. Yes, Lord, when those few people got together, started meeting at Mother Wright's house, he was right there. When they got this building and came together to pay the bill, he was right there. From pastor to pastor, he been right there. At the loss, at the loss, he been right there. We've been through some deaths, but he's been right there. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here where we were trying to figure out how to pay the mortgage, how to pay the light bill, how to pay the insurance. He made a way. He's been right there. He's been right there. He was right there all the time. He had a plan. He had a plan. He was giving us history. He was giving us a testimony. You can't witness without history. Somebody ought to tell your neighbor through many dangers, toils and snares. I've already come. It was grace. Lord, I wish I had my boys. It was grace. It was grace that brought us safe this far. And grace is going to lead us all. He's been right there. No matter what you're going through, I'm getting ready to close. Why don't you just, why don't you do me a favor? Don't, don't, don't tell all your business, but just tell somebody about two or three things the Lord's been there with you through. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He's been there. I said, he's been there. I said, he's been there. If you need a reason to praise him, if you need a reason to dance, if you need a reason to run, if you need a reason to holler, if you need a reason to shout, he's been there. He's been there. I'm about to, 
I'm, I don't know about nobody else, but I'm about to give him. I'm about to give him a praise because in 41 years of my life, he's been there. Lord have mercy. Granny, after all of those treatments, he's been there. You, Mother Green, he's been there. Lord have mercy. After all you've been through, Mother, he's been right there. Sister Reed, he's been right there. Lord have mercy. Pastor Simmons, he's been right there. Elder Dobson, he's been right there. Mother, he's been right there. After all you've been through, I wish I had somebody that would just get up on your feet and give God a praise for being there. Grandmother's been through. He's been there. That's all you've been through. He's been there. Justin, he's been there. He's been there. My father, he's been there. Jerry, he's been there. If you're looking, sis, he's been there. I wish I had somebody that would give God some. He's 
Somebody, I don't know about you, but after all I've been through, I can testify that he's been there. 
He's been dead. Thank God. I don't have to look for a reason. He gave me a reason. He could. He continues to give me a reason to give him the praise. He's been there. We thank God. Hallelujah. somebody right here right now you are in the middle of something right now but whatever it is I want you to know he's here Lord have mercy tell somebody he's there right now Lord have mercy sometimes you you're looking to see something. But if you just sit and concentrate on him, you can feel it. His spirit will come on you. He'll wrap his arms around you. And you can just sit in that space with him and get peace and tranquility knowing that my God is here with me. Lord, I bless you. I bless his name. We bless his name. He's here. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lift those hands. And, oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just begin to tell him thank you for being there. He was there, yes, Lord, all the time. He was there all the time, waiting patiently. Eli, 
Thank you because you've been there. You, you, you've been there. Father, for the rest of our lives, we owe you praise. For the rest of our lives, we owe you praise. And we thank you today. You've seen us in our worst. seen us in our darkest, in our weariest. You've seen us in our most vulnerable states, but you never left us. You were there with us. We thank you for being there. My God, we give you praise. Thank you that even now, You've chosen to bless us. 
Father, many of us are living better today than we've ever lived before in our lives. And it's because you've been there. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for your presence right now. Father, we'll never cease to give you the praise for all the great things you have done, are doing, and will do. We're forever indebted. We owe you a praise. And Father, we plan to pay our debt. We love you today, Jesus. We give you glory for what you did for us on Calvary. If it wasn't for your blood that you shed on Calvary for our sins, oh God, we could not have been healed. We could have not been delivered. We could not have been set free. We could not have been brought to this place that we're in right now. So we thank you for your blood, your cleansing blood, your purifying blood, your healing blood. Thank you for it today. Now, Lord, keep us. Move across this great church today. Touch hearts and minds that sit in these seats. Those that attend us today by way of virtual sanctuary, Lord, touch them right where they are. Strengthen them. Oh, God, renew them, restore them, rejuvenate them. Do it again, God. And Father, we give you glory. Save today. Heal, deliver, and set free. Let somebody know that even while they are yet sinners, you died. You gave your life for them. And today, if they would just believe in your word, receive you as their personal savior, they too can be saved. Do it now. Do it now. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. We tell you thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. God today for how he has blessed us. I tell you, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, some people throw that thing around like a cliche mother, like a, it's like a wet rag just throwing it around. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out hallelujah I thank him I really do I thank him for saving me y'all do you realize it's a blessing to be saved it's a blessing to have a relationship with Jesus Christ in a time like this I'm glad I know who he is but most importantly I'm glad he knows who I am Lord, have mercy. I don't want to hear him say, depart from me. I know you not, you workers of iniquity. I want him to know who I am. I bless him today. Thank God for you. We love you today. We thank God for the moving of his spirit. Just one more time, hold somebody's hand and say, he's been there. today just take time to reflect reflect on how good God has been to you and realize when nobody else was there he left you with his word his word if you get in that book and you read that word that word will minister to you. It'll come up in your spirit when you need it the most. I thank him for his word. 
Hallelujah. I want to say to us that this evening at 5 o'clock, we'll be coming back for the conclusion of our church anniversary, 27th church anniversary. And let's come in rejoicing because he's been there. Amen. Pastor Johnny Brown and the Genesis Church from Gastonia, North Carolina will be with us at 5. And we want to rejoice in the Lord and give him praise for 27 years of ministry right here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Lord has been good to us and we have much to praise him for. And let us come back this evening at 5. Amen. This Tuesday night. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We want you to catch us by way of Facebook Live. We'll be preaching in Charlotte, North Carolina. Amen. And we want you to join us. Amen. Uh, as we preach. Amen. This Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Amen. We want you to join us. and know that you can't travel that far to be with us, but if you can catch us, we appreciate you so much. In the name of the Lord, Wednesday will be in intercessory prayer, midweek consecration prayer. Amen. We'll be in prayer at uh, 5.30 a.m. Uh, from 5.30 until 6 a.m. We'll be in prayer. Amen. On the prayer call line. Amen. Uh, Minister Walker, would you lead us on this Wednesday morning in prayer? Amen. Consecration, we'll be back on consecration. We'll be fasting from 6 until 12 on Wednesday. Amen. So please, ma'am, please, sir, let us adhere to this. Amen. Because we need God. Amen. To continue. Amen. To bless us. Amen. We've got to stay on our faces before him in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And I think, amen, that is all the announcements for this week. Amen. We're looking forward to a great uh, uh, month. Amen. We're getting ready to come into the month of December, the last month of 2021. Amen. Glory to God. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking to make it. Lord have mercy. I said, I'm looking to make it. Amen. I'm looking to make it strong. I'm looking to make it. Amen. With no sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm looking to make it healthy and strong. Glory to God. Amen. And so we must continue to be safe. We must continue to pray. We must continue to be watchful. Amen. Glory to God. Adhere. Amen. To guidelines. Praise the Lord so that you can stay well. Amen. Praise God. God has afforded us the opportunity to be able to amen to get out and about a little more amen and we are enjoying <clears throat> enjoying this it's blessed us amen and we're able to do things that many of us have not been able to do before amen but let me tell you don't wild out amen glory to god be be good managers come on here amen i said be good managers amen because seasons come and go amen but if you do what's right in the right season, glory to God. When seasons uh, move, you'll still have what you need, amen, to be able to make it through to the next, amen, amen. So let us be wise in our dealings, amen. Keep God, amen, at the forefront of your mind in Jesus' name. We love you. We thank God for you, amen. God bless you. If there are no other announcements. The Lord. Oh, there you go. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bishop, we want to say to you happy birthday today. Come on, let's tell our bishop happy birthday. Amen. Come on. And that we love you. And so today we don't take a lot of time, but we want our auxiliaries, anybody that has any presentations, come quickly. Amen. We want to honor God for our bishop today. He is 41. I mean, you're getting up. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if you have any presentations, any auxiliaries, anybody has any presentations, please come with me.
Bishop, on behalf of the Women's Department, we want to tell you happy birthday. And this is a total of Stand up, youth department. Come on through. Yeah. The youth department of Greater True Light Ministries is on the move. Amen. Well, happy birthday to you, sir. It's been a long time, and so I got you this is a token of my love to you. To say happy birthday. This is part one. Amen. Part two is on the way. Part three is coming, um, but this is part one for the church. Amen. I, want, I didn't want to not see you. You can even work with you. Amen. But you know that I love you, and I'm and I'm honored um, to be called your wife. Amen. And I'm glad that God has allowed us this time together and allowed you to stay here. Amen. All these years, all these 41 years. Amen. I'm glad that I have been a part of them for at least 20 be 21 in December, you know. And so I'm glad that I have shared half of your life with you and I'm part of it. And um, this is just something that I know that you wanted that I've got and what is that for me. That's not for your children, that's for me. You have to make that disclaimer because they think because I gave a gift, that's including them. Not this time. <laughs> you got your own money. Come on, let's give our bishop one more hand. Amen, and bishop. I think there's one more department that'll have something for you to come. All right. So we want to say you happy birthday, that we love you, and we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. People don't have to do things for you. And when they do, you ought to be grateful and say thank you. Amen. And I am always so appreciative for every gift. Bless you, Dee. find out. <laughs> All right. I like that. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Thank you so much. Amen for all of your gifts. Thank you so much for everything that you've done to express your love and kindness towards us today. Amen. We so, so, so love all of you. 
Amen. Those that couldn't do anything, thank you so much for your happy birthday, for your love. Amen. Just thinking about us is a blessing. Amen. So thank you so much. If that is all, let's stand. Let's stand, let's stand, let's stand. We've got some great things coming in the month of December. Amen. Glory to God. God says be open. Amen. God says be open. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, new things are coming to the lives of his people. Amen. Glory to God. Tell somebody to be open to something new. open to something new. Praise the Lord. God bless Pastor Oliver is with us today. Pastor Anna's wife, bless you, lady. God bless you. Let's thank the Lord for them. Thank you all so much for coming to be with us. Amen. Today, we're certainly privileged. Would you all like to say anything? All right. Thank you so much. Amen for coming to be with us and we pray that you've been blessed. Amen by the service. All of our visiting friends, I've seen some others. Amen. If you're visiting with us for the first time, wave your hand at us. Let us know. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. So glad to have you. We pray that you've been blessed. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And I certainly thank God. Amen. For my family. Amen. That is here today. God bless you. Amen. Uh, sister and Sister Reed. Amen. Glory to God. Are here today. They were here last week and they spent the week here in Myrtle Beach. Amen. Glory to God. And they came back again this Sunday. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Glory to God. Some people go on vacation. I ain't going to nobody church on Sunday. I'm going to stay in my room and cross my legs and drink on some orange juice. Orange juice. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God that they thought about the church and they're here again today. We thank God for you. Your love has not gone unnoticed. I appreciate all that you've done. All of you saints, we love you so much. Let's thank God for our ushers today. God bless our ushers, our media ministry, our greeters. Amen. God bless you all so much. Let's be dismissed. Father in heaven, we thank you. How you blessed us so wonderfully today in the worship experience. Thank you for how you have ministered to the hearts and minds of your people. Father, we praise you because you've been there. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. You have been there and we honor you for your presence. Thank you for being there for us right now. You'll be there for us in the days to come because you promised that you would be Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end. Lord, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the age. So, Father, we thank you. Now, Lord, we pray that as we leave this place, but never from your presence, that you would cover us under your blood. Keep us safe from our hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we pray for your traveling mercies, those that are traveling long distance, short distance. It doesn't matter. Father, the enemy is lurking, but Father, we thank you that your blood cover. My God, angels, hallelujah, are assigned to our cause. They're assigned to our lives. Father, we will arrive to our destination safely. Then, Lord, give us a good dinner and bring us back this evening at 5 o'clock that we might continue to worship you in the beauty of holiness. Father, bless Pastor Brown as they travel from Gastonia. Give him and his members, oh God, safe passage to the house of God. And when he gets here, let him find us, worship you, and giving you praise in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. God bless you. You're dismissed. Amen. God bless Brother Darion's family who came to be with us today. That's who they are. God bless you all. Love you. Thank you for coming. In Jesus' name.